Hello everyone, this is Akib Javed and here I share with you some automation techniques by which you can uh, automate the works and the tasks which you have to do repetitively again and again in your work and your business and it kills your time unnecessarily. Okay, and you cannot focus on important things and it reduces your uh, productivity also. So here we are using automation techniques. Uh, to improve your productivity and in this video I would like to share an automation by which you can extract LinkedIn profiles and uh, selected LinkedIn profiles and save in Google Sheets automatically okay so this automation can be helpful in many ways if you are collecting leads from LinkedIn or if you are uh, searching for right candidates for any job role this can be really helpful so let's start this so guys, I'm using Public Connect application to set up this automation. So Public Connect is an integration and automation tool and the flow of our automation will look like this. Here, you can extract LinkedIn profiles and the LinkedIn profiles will be added in Google Sheets automatically. So this whole process will be automatic once you set up this automation, okay? So guys, before you start setting up this automation, first you need to install this linked helper application in your PC so that you can use this application to extract the profiles of uh, from LinkedIn, okay? So you can get this application uh, from this link, linkedhelper.com, okay? From here, you can download this application, okay? After that, you can connect your LinkedIn profile with this linked helper application and so once you install that application the dashboard will look like this and from here you can connect your linkedin account and it will be opened up here okay so i'll tell you how you can you do you can do this in this video later and to start setting up this automation first you need to reach the dashboard of pavli connect guys let me open up for you so you can reach the dashboard of pavli connect here like this and to reach here please use the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can set up your free Pabli Connect trial account in just two minutes. After that, you can sign in and reach here. And guys, here you have to start working by creating a workflow. So guys, to create a workflow, you just have to click here on this create workflow button like this. And here you can give any suitable name to your workflow also. So let me fill the name here. So I have given the name to this workflow as uh, save LinkedIn profiles to Google Sheets automatically. And now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay, and on this page guys, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these things. The trigger says, uh, trigger is like an if statement. Okay, so it is saying here when this happens, that means when any event occurs, action will do this okay action will make public connect perform any action okay so as in our use case the trigger would be fetching off linkedin profiles to here in public connect and the action is uh, action will be to send those profiles in google sheets okay so first of all you have to set up this trigger so click here on this trigger window and from this choose app application uh, choose app field you have to choose your application as linked helper guys okay so this is linked helper you have to select this and we'll make a connection with linked helper uh, by selecting this trigger event so the trigger event would be uh, get linkedin profiles you can read here it will retrieve linkedin profiles details so select this and after that it will give you this url so guys this is called as a web hook url okay and with the help of this we are going to connect linked helper application so that we can fetch the details out of that application to here okay so you can follow these instructions written here guys that you have to go connect to your linkedin account in linked helper which you have already done then you have to create a campaign in linked helper then you have to add a profile to your campaign okay and then you have to uh, select this visit and extract profile so guys you can read these instructions one by one and do the process let me directly show you how you can do this so i am opening my linked helper so guys after installing linked helper when you open this application it will open up like this and it will connect your it will connect it will be connected with your linkedin profile okay automatically and here you can see it will show you your LinkedIn account like this here. 
and you have to open this from here click on open okay so it will open another uh, page for you you can see like this okay so it might take a few moments here it is loading you can see so after the loading get completed this page will open up and here you can see your linkedin profile like this and here on the left hand side panel you have to create a campaign okay so you can create a campaign by clicking here uh, on this uh, you know you the, it is actually showing here this tab is showing you the campaigns so when you click here it will show you uh, so these are the campaigns that i have created and here only it will show you this create new option okay so by clicking on create new option you can create a new campaign let me type you can give the name to this campaign like uh, I am giving as LinkedIn leads. Okay, so you can give any name. Okay, then uh, you have to select this people and from this choose template, you have to select this visit and extract profiles option. So when you scroll down, it will show this visit and extract profile Select it, then click on create here. Okay, so this campaign get created and here in this action uh, uh, thing, and on this action panel you can give a name to this action as fetch profiles I am giving okay so I am showing you the process of setting the webhook okay so from this panel you can click here on this plus icon okay and here in this uh, options you have to scroll down and you have to uh, select this send person to webhook option okay select this send person to webhook and it will show you this uh, this pop up okay and here in this webhook url field you have to paste the webhook you have got in public connect okay so let me open my public connect account so from here uh, you have to click on this copy button and copy your webhook url okay then switch back to your uh, linked helper application and in this uh, window you have to paste the webhook url like this okay then click on save here and your webhook is saved here okay so we have set the webhook so here in public connect as you copied this webhook url it started showing this waiting for the webhook's response okay so this means now you have to do a test submission or you have to fetch the test details from linkedin profiles to set up this automation here in public connect okay so for that you have you need to open your linked helper again and from here from this linked helper page now what you have to do you have to uh, click here on this you have first you have to select your campaign from this drop down so our campaign is this linkedin leads then i am going to click on this add button in the queue in front of this queue click on add and from this choose source fee, uh, choose source page you have to select this my network page option okay and from here you can see it started preparing okay so it will show you the connections you have in linkedin like this okay it will show you all the connections and now we are going to click on this collect button so it will start collecting all your connections from linkedin to here in this linked helper so when you click on collect it will show you from current page option so select from current page and you can see it started collecting the profiles okay so it will fetch the profiles out from linkedin and put it in the queue here in linked helper okay so as you can see the collection is now completed in linked helper and started showing 48 pro connections in my queue here in linked helper okay now if you want to fetch some selected linkedin profiles to here in uh, linkedin and you want to save it in your google sheet for that what you have to do uh, here you can see in the queue we have all the connections now select all first by clicking here on this uh, checkbox so all the profiles are selected now now from here start unselecting those profiles that you want to send to uh, google sheets okay or you want to save those profiles so i am going to unselect this one sushil t and kajal aherwar and let's say manikesh tripathi okay so i just want to save these three profiles okay now unselect these three profiles that you want to save and click on this exclude button and exclude all other profiles so when you exclude all other profiles 
in q will remain these three only okay so in the queue now we have only these three profiles now click on the start campaign button guys like this and it will start sending these profiles to pavli connect here okay so you can see the campaign is started and as and when one profile got fetched here in pavli connect we are going to stop this campaign okay because we are setting up this pro uh, so this automation so we are actually capturing the test data okay so to just to set up this uh, automation okay so let's wait for a few minutes and as and when uh, any one profile got captured here in public connect we are going to stop this campaign so you can see the data of a profile got captured here in public connect so i am stopping this campaign okay so the campaign is stopped now let me show you how the data got captured in uh, my Pavli Connect. You can see a profile of this person named as, let me show you, this is how the data got captured and it is showing the public ID as Sushil T and this number, okay? And it has all other details too. This is the avatar ID, okay? This is the LinkedIn profile link, okay? And this is the full name, Sushil T, this first name, the last name, okay, and the avatar media, the photo of the person, the headline, okay, the location of the person, the summary or the introduction of the person, whatever. And this is the address and the, this is the name of the current company he's working and this is the position at which he's working, okay. So this is how it is going to happen, guys. This is how the profiles will be get fetched here in Public Connect. Okay, so now with the help of the data that we have fetched here, we are going to process that for this automation further. Okay, now I want to save the same profile in my Google Sheet. Okay, for that, what you have to do, you just have to come to this action step now, click here and choose your action application, which is Google Sheets. So this is Google Sheets. Okay, select it, then select this action event and the action event we are using is this add new row option so it will add this the data of this person in a new row so guys let me show you this is my google sheets in which i am saving the details of linkedin profiles okay and here you can see i have all these columns the full name the profile url the location the summary the current company and the current position so these things i'm going to save here okay so First of all, we are going to connect this uh, Google Sheets application here in Pavli Connect. So I am selecting this add new row, new row option in the action event. Then click on this connect button here. Okay, and from this window, select add new connection option. Then click on connect with Google Sheets. Okay, so from this window, it will ask from the for, it, it will ask for the Gmail account by which your Google Sheet application is connected. So select that email account or Gmail account from here. Then give the required access uh, to send the data from Pavli Connect to your Google Sheets. Click on continue here, okay? Then it will take a few moments to authorize and we will be connected with Google Sheets application like this, okay? And now it is asking for to select the spreadsheet that we are using, okay? So we are using this spreadsheet to save the data of LinkedIn profiles and the name of this sheet is LinkedIn leads. Okay. So you can select this uh, sheet here from this drop down. It will show you all the spreadsheets that you have created till now in Google Sheets application. And from here, select the uh, proper spreadsheet. Okay. Now it is asking for the sheets name. So I have the sheets name as profile. Okay. So it will be selected automatically because I have only one sheet here. And now it is asking for this full name, the profile URL, the location, the summary, and all these things. Because in my spreadsheet, I have all these things in the as the column headers. You can see full name, profile URL, location, summary. Okay, that's why it is asking these things. Now we are going to use the same details that we have collected in the first step of our LinkedIn, uh, where we have captured the LinkedIn profile. So I am going to map the details that we got here in the first step to the second step. So that what will happen when you map things another time after setting up this automation. Uh, after that, whenever you run a campaign to fetch the profiles, the profiles will be fetched automatically here and will be mapped automatically here and it will be delivered to your Google Sheets automatically. Okay. So for the full name, I'm going to click here 
and it will show me this linked help linked linked helper option in the drop down this this is the first step actually and when you click here it will show you all the details that you have captured in the first step like this okay so from here i'm going to find the full name so this is the full name okay for the profile url i am going to take the help of linked helper only okay and i'm going to map the profile link like this for the location follow the same process find the location scroll down and this is the location okay in the summary let's fill up the details of the person that we got here let me show you so here is the summary okay here is his description actually okay and the current company name you will find the current company name also from this uh, data and i think the current company okay let me scroll down again so current company position and the organization's name okay so this is the current company uh, so, okay sorry this is the current company retainer and for the current position you will find the current position here also when you scroll down a bit more okay so this is the current company position legal consultant okay now let us check our connection with spreadsheet is working properly or not so here you can see in the last row i have this person bharat aswani this is the 17th number row now let's check our connection i'm going to click here on save and send test request and if the connection is fine the data that we have mapped will be delivered to my spreadsheet and you can see here it started showing this kind of response here now let's check in our spreadsheet if we got the data and you can see an 18th row got added here with the name as Sushil T the link of the profile the location and the summary and all other details okay so connection is working really fine and our workflow is also completed now let me give you a quick recap what we have done here so first of all after uh, installing linked helper and connecting our profile we connected our linked helper application with pavli connect in the trigger okay and then with the help of this url we connected it and follow these instructions and started a campaign to fetch the data here like this okay after fetching the test data of any profile I connected Google Sheets application with the action event as add new row and mapped all the details required. Okay. After that, we have checked our connection. That was fine. Now you just have to click on save and you are done. You have to set up this automation only once. After that, whenever you run a campaign in linked helper to fetch the profiles, the data will be fetched here and it will be stored in your Google Sheets automatically. Okay. And guys, you can use this same workflow because I'm going to paste the link of this same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free public connect trial account and start using this automation instantly. So guys, this is it for today's video. If you got any query regarding our business automation, you can ask and discuss your queries from this forum. And guys, if you want to check the pricing of this application, you can use this link and if our automations are helping you, do not forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel.